Hey guys, this week I'm going to talk about weeds and how annoying they are on the field, off the field. You're probably thinking, what in the world is she talking about? Why are we talking about weeds off the field? That's weird. Okay, I'll get to a point, I promise. Okay, so parents, you might think this is funny. Kids, you might think um, maybe you'll sympathize me with me a little bit. Um, I've been home from college for maybe like four days, I think. And uh, the other day my mom says, hey, I need you to go weed the garden. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, are we talking about like the garden, the little piece of land, or are we talking about like, do we need an excavation team? I mean, what am I, what are we dealing with here? So I get out there and there's these nice little flowers and there's these weeds that are about this big, tiny, right? Um, but of course it's the tiny ones that have like the roots the size of, you know, Africa. So I'm pulling these weeds and the little ones, you know, you need like the biggest shovel and you end up with no dirt and no garden and just one little flower. Um, to the point where mom says, hey, I said weed the garden, not get rid of our dirt. So, weeding the garden, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm weeding the garden. God says, okay, let's talk about weeds in your life. And I was like, well, this is weird, God, why are we talking about this? Um, but we'll come back to that. So, freshman year in high school, I remember this day very clearly. Um, basically, the first day of practice in the fall, the field's kind of been sitting all summer, and uh, there's not much around but weeds, right? So, of course, all the freshmen are, you know, walking around and we're like, oh yeah, we're going to practice. And coach says, alright, everybody get to the edge of the infield, to the backstop, we're going to pick all the weeds out. And we're like, well, this is softball? What? So, picking up all the weeds, of course, you've got the third baseman who's out in, you know, left field pulling the tree out of the ground. And we're all picking the little tiny ones and stuff. But my point is, when we look at a softball field and you see weeds on it, right, we don't want to play on a field with weeds. We want to play on a clean, nice dirt field that's manicured, that's put together, that's nice and clear, okay? If we have to dance around all these weeds and slide in them and get our feet caught in them and I would trip, as everyone knows, that's not good, okay? So we have to take these weeds out, get them out of the way, make sure that we're not tripping over things and being pulled down by these little tiny plants, okay? In our spiritual lives, we could have weeds. Right? We could have people or things or, you know, maybe activities that are pulling away from our strengths, that are growing up around us, that are pulling us in different directions, that are stealing our joy, that are taking away from how we should be spiritually, our strength. So, got a little surprise for you. My littlest sister, Cody, she's 12, is going to talk to us about 6th grade and what kind of weeds maybe that she deals with in her life and going into intermediate school. So, Cody, yeah. what kind of weeds or what kind of things pull you down in school or are hard to deal with growing up and going through intermediate school? Well, as most of you know, there's it all starts in sixth grade. Popularity, dating, it all matters about who you are and what you wear, not about what you do. So, you all, you get caught up in all of this junk and everybody they just rate you on by what you look like who you're friends with but they don't really get to know you and what you have to do to get through this I found a group of friends that go to church with me and we just hang out we push all those popular kids to the side ignore them just do what we want be ourselves so, so it helps for you to have people that keep you accountable yes. that's what you're saying that helps you to maintain and do things that are acceptable and things that are going to help your relationship with Christ rather than pull it down. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so a scripture we're going to talk about is Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. I know I've used it before and I think it gets looked over a lot of times, but it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us. Okay? The sin that entangles us, the weeds that will pull us down, but your roots that get tangled up that get just completely mixed up in all of these things that you know maybe shouldn't be doing or things or thoughts that are people that are pulling you away from your relationship with Christ and it goes on to say and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus the pioneer and perfecter of faith for the joy set before him he endured the cross and the scorning of its shame and he sat down at the right hand in the throne of God so Hebrews is a pretty powerful book and it's saying, you know, let us throw off those things that entangle us and not let those things pull us down. Just like weeds in a garden, 
even though it's a goofy analogy and I was having some fun with it, it's true, right? There are are times where we can look out and see the people around us are pulling us down and pulling that joy and that strength away from us. So, no weeds on the field, no weeds in your life. If you're struggling with some things that are pulling you down, I encourage you to talk to somebody who's got a strong relationship with Christ or maybe your parents or even shoot us an email and we'll help you out any way that we can. So, um, this is Cody Miles, Christina Miles, and we will see you guys next week.